We want to get an analysis, not only what's happening with Apple, but on what's happening with the markets and the economy with billionaire investor Ken Fisher, who I am very proud to say has been a longtime friend of mine. Uh, and uh, Ken, it's great to see you. Thank you for hanging in. Sorry, there's going to have to. We, we allotted all this time for you. Now we only have four minutes. But I, I want to ask you first of all about the general economy because a lot of people are concerned about what's happening with the trade discussions. Uh, I know you're a free trader as well as I am, but 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 we do we don't like it when we're taken advantage of. Are what we have seen so far uh, in terms of the threats and the actual tariffs uh, that we have implemented and the counter tariffs, are they a threat to our economy or our markets? The tariffs are actually super bullish in a way that nobody seems to understand. I got two secret weapons on this. One of them is fourth grade arithmetic and the other one's heroin, illegal heroin. You got to understand both of those. First, you take all the tariffs anybody's ever talked about, the ones we've imposed and the retaliatory, you add them up and they come to a total of tariffable items of $640 billion. That's all the ones they've talked about, not fully imposed yet. If that maximum tariff rate was 25 percent, that would be a $160 billion tax increase. Tariff critics correctly point out that a tariff's always a tax. But stop, David, for a minute and think about this. $160 billion potential tax increase in an $80 trillion world that's growing GDP this year in nominal terms at maybe 5% with 3% real and a couple of percent inflation. That's $4 trillion approximately of nominal GDP growth. So that 160 is 4% of one year's growth rate. This is minusculely small. When people make a big fear over a little bad, it's very bullish. Fear of a false factor is always bullish, but big fear of a little factor. Now, it's going to be smaller than that because they're not going to get a 25 percent right. tax tariff rate. It's going to be more like 16, which would take you down to two and a half percent of one year's GDP growth globally. And then it's going to be less than that because in m many of these products and almost all the commodities, you sell them off to some other country where there isn't a tariff and a broker turns around and sells them into the tariff country through black market or otherwise. Wow. And those who believe the WTO can stop that don't believe that okay. there's $50 billion Ken, we a just year have a minute, of heroin imported into seconds. America every so year. I, I have to stop you, but I want to ask you specifically about President Trump's goal of getting tariffs. I mean, all of this has has a purpose at the end. His, he says his purpose is to get us down to zero tariffs going and coming. Uh, do you think that's possible or is that just pie in the sky quickly? Trying to figure out what President Trump's going to do is always tricky because he's always distracting over here while he's doing something else over there. And I, I don't try to predict that. I don't think you need to. What I said on this show uh, last spring, early last spring, was that the uh, Chinese tariffs were about getting North Korea to talk on denuclearization. Every time Trump does this, he's trying to do some other thing, and predicting that's tough to do. That's I don't absolutely know do true. It. But is it conceivable that we could end up, after all this stuff, with zero tariffs, at least on sure. cars? Sure, it's absolutely conceivable. Will it happen? I don't have a clue. Yeah, yeah. But you think that it's it's bullish. I I love your perspective. It's bullish because it's bullish because it's huge fear of a yeah. tiny little thing. Right. When everybody's ecstatic over everything going great, that's when the fear should be real. Correct. Quickly. Yep. All right. Indeed. In fact, right now we're still looking for fears. We're still <laughs> looking for problems. That's There's bullish. A... This bull market's rolling on. This guy is not a Pollyanna. He knows when to be positive, and he's positive right now. Ken Fisher, wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you soon.